All right, so now we're gonna hang out with Zach. Zach is a scientist here at Boston Scientific, and he gets to work with different solutions to make magic. Okay, not magic magic, like scientific magic. Y'all know what I mean, let's, let's meet Zach. Yo, what's up, Zach? Yo, what's up, Juice? <laughs> Yo, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, good, so where are we? We are in the analytical laboratory. Okay. Here we deal with a lot of solutions and today we're gonna to be using an antimicrobial agent. So let's go do that. Y'all hear the big words? Come on, let's roll. Think of a scientist as somewhat of a detective, someone who isn't afraid of trying to figure out what's wrong and maybe there isn't an answer and they're the one that has to go out and figure out where things are coming from. That's super dope. So what kind of demonstration are we doing today? Um, we're going to be doing a dilution series of rifampin and minocycline. And what they do is act like superheroes that fight off bacteria. I like that. And it's a good thing that we're wearing lab coats because this is a very concentrated colored solution. We can close that up and we can use methanol to fill this the rest of the way. Now that we have a stock solution, now we can do a dilution of that. What do you mean by that? Taking the concentration and making it lower because at this concentration, it'd be so high that it would overload our detector. We're just gonna bring that down to a lower level so that we can actually read how much is in there. It looks like a little oil. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some cooking oil. Yeah. Just don't cook with it. You can see it's starting to get slowly less red and becoming more of an orange. So yeah. Maybe it'll become a little more clear in this next one. Yeah, your concentration and sleight of hand is unmatched. We'll say that looks like apple juice, <laughs> not the other one. I know some of y'all was thinking, but we're not gonna say that. We put these in vials now for the chromatographer to actually analyze the sample. So I'll put J for juice on this sample. It's J for juice, if you didn't know. That's me. Got my own sample, people. And that's it. Then we'll put it on the chromatographer and it'll analyze the sample for minocycline and famping. That was dope. Did you always know you wanted to be a scientist? Like, how did you know that you wanted to be a scientist, like, as a kid? As a kid, I used to like snowboarding a lot. And what piqued my curiosity was, like, how you glide so fast. Learning more in depth about the science between different waves of friction between different materials. And my friends kind of saw me as a scientist. They, they would ask me questions, and I'd be the one to come up with answers in the group. So. Yeah, that's awesome. What excites you about coming to work every day? Well, specifically at Boston Scientific, I love to hear all the stories about how we help people out in the real world. It motivates me to get back in the laboratory and make solutions to help people better their lives. Love it. Well, thanks, Zach, for letting us hang out in your lab, man. You made a little scientific magic today. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was great for you to come out and see what I do. But now I got to get back to my magic, so I'll see you later. <laughs>